So uh, if you have worked, uh, if, if it's working properly for you, uh, then uh, if you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm saying in your case, it will not keep the name. It will just say ID1, ID2, and whatever number of faces you have trained it on. But when I change the photograph, so I've got a new photograph, uh, it will, it's recognizing uh, ID2, that is my wife, and also ID1, uh, which is my own face. And like that, if I take it to another photograph, uh, it is recognizing this as uh, ID2 and that as ID1 and same. So if you go closer here, sorry, there is a lot of light issue. Uh, so it will say Atul and again, I mean, in your case, it will not give the names, but it will it will recognize it as ID1 and ID2. So did it work for everyone? Are we okay till here? Okay, uh, so assuming uh, it's working, so let's, let's then uh, go back. And now what we are going to do is uh, we will, uh, we will use this face recognition and we will write a small uh, program okay uh, for microbit so to connect it to to connect your uh, husky lens to microbit uh, the four wires which are coming out you've got the red wire which is the vcc you've got the black wire which is the ground you've got the blue wire which is called scl uh, which means serial clock it's the way you know electronic devices talk to each other and there is a green wire uh, which is called sdk which is called serial data uh, so when we want to connect this to a microbit uh, so we want to connect this to a microbit here so i let me move this one and so we we've got the uh, a, a thing here and so i'm saying these are the four wires so when you have these wires so the the red is vcc the black is ground the blue is serial clock and the green is serial data so to connect it to uh, uh to the micro bit we have to take the micro bit and we can uh connect the vcc to uh the three volt we can connect the ground to ground and the, the problem is that to connect the blue wire and the green wire you need to connect the blue wire to pin number 19 and the blue wire uh, the green wire to pin number 20 and on the micro bit you will not get access to pin 19 and 20 you need some other something else so that is why uh, i hope you're carrying some uh, you know connector and by connector i mean it it could be the uh, you know, the uh, flex, smart flex board that you have, which is a motor driver board. But whatever connector you have, you have to, you know, put the micro bit in that connector. And that connector will give you, uh, depending on, I have a different connector, but you will have a different connector. But basically, you will get access to all the pins. So as you can see, you've got access to all the pins here. So uh, you, I have the access here to all the pins. So I am looking for pin number 19 and pin number 20. Okay. Uh, so on, on this particular board, I have got pin 19 here, right? Uh, third from top, fourth from uh, top is 19 and third from top is 20. So that is what I'm uh, now putting in here. I'm taking the blue wire and I'm putting the blue wire on pin number 19, which, which is the fourth one pin 19 and I'm taking the green wire and I'm putting it in pin 20. So whatever board you are using, this is what you have to connect. And then I am left with uh, two more wires. So I am powering the Husky lens from my, uh, from USB. Okay. So it's optional. You can either put the red wire onto the three volt pin of the micro bit or you can simply uh, use the USB. So because I'm using the USB, I am not putting the red wire. 
Okay, so I'm only putting the ground wire. So I'm just searching for ground. It's second from top for me. Okay, so I'm repeating. I've got the I've got the blue wire connected to pin 19. I've got the green wire connected to pin 20. I've got the black wire connected to ground. I am not connecting the red uh, VCC wire because I am anyway uh, uh, supplying power to my uh, voltage to my uh, Husky lens using the USB. Okay. If you do connect it, it doesn't matter. It will it will use this one, but because I'm not connecting it, I'm not even putting the. I'm just leaving the red wire alone. Okay. So so that is the connection I you need to do to talk to make the Husky lens talk to the micro bit. Okay. So once you have done this, then the second thing is, of course, you need to connect the micro bit to your laptop because when we will write the program, we need some connection to you know transfer the program. Okay. So again, I'm going to stop for a minute and let you do these connections, and then uh, you know we will write the program. So if you have been able to connect your uh, Husky lens to your micro bit, let's start coding. Uh, so we will code the micro bit. Uh, for Husky Lens using makecode.microbit.org. So you're familiar with this. I'm saying start a new project and I can give it some name, Husky Lens uh, uh, Trial. Uh, so now we are in the make code interface. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add the extension for Husky Lens. So I'm adding the extension and I'm saying uh, searching for Husky Lens. So I've got this DF robot Husky Lens. This is the one uh, we are looking for. So I'm clicking this. So now I've got all these commands for Husky Lens. Uh, so I've got all these commands. Plus if I click more, then I've got even more commands. So this is what we will use to uh, program R first. So remember, we have already trained a uh, Husky lens on face recognition. So we are going to call the same model. And now we are just writing some program. So I'm saying step one, which was Husky lens doing face recognition. That's simply point and shoot. Nothing else. It does everything itself. It will assign ID one, ID two, ID three, ID four like that. And now uh, uh, we are going to use those IDs or that uh, face recognition algorithm to write some program, right? Uh, so uh, the question which was asked earlier was at what age can you use Husky Lens? So I'm saying if you just want to you know, just show some very basic computer vision and explain it to young students, even grade four, grade five, grade six, uh, it just point and shoot, it will work. Then level two is where we are saying do something with it. Uh, for example, uh, maybe you want to make a school attendance system and you want, uh, you know, was ID one present today, ID two present today like that. Or maybe you want to create a, a smart door opening mechanism. So when the door will, uh, you know, see somebody's face, uh, you know, some servo motor will, will, will run and open the door. So what you do with face recognition is, uh, uh, you know, up to, up to your imagination, right? So that is what we are trying to do now. We are trying to say that Husky Lens has a model working for face recognition. We are going to use it with Microbit. So to do that, the first command you will always have to use is this uh, initialize. Okay, uh, so on start. So when we are using Husky Lens with Microbit, your only option is uh, the I2C. So I2C, is one way that uh, you know electronic devices talk to each other and UART, UART is the other way. But in microbit, you can only do it I2C. Uh, later we'll see with Arduino, you can do both, okay? Uh, so you have to say initialize I2C until success. This is the first command. And I2C is what we are using when we are connecting pin 19 and 20 to that you know blue wire and green wire, okay? So once we have initialized Husky Lens, uh, the second thing that we want to put under on start is which algorithm are we using? 
So if you look at the drop down, you get all the algorithms here, uh, right? Face recognition, object tracking, object recognition, line tracking, and so forth. So from here, we are choosing face recognition because that's the algorithm we are uh, using. Then the next command that you need is uh, the third command and you're putting it in the forever loop. So we are saying that uh, always keep checking what is the data that Husky Lens is providing. So whenever we will point the Husky Lens to some face, it will recognize and it will give some ID or it will not recognize whichever way. Uh, but whatever data is generating, whatever ID1, ID2, ID3 that you have trained it on, it will save all that data into, let's say, some, some variable called result. So we don't have to worry about that. It's just saving that result. Okay. So now that we have initialized Husky Lens, we have uh, uh, chosen the algorithm and we have saved whatever data it has got. The next is what do you want to do with the data? Okay. So here uh, I'm going to use something very simple to begin with. I'm just going to, you know, uh, uh, if it recognizes ID one uh, on the micro bit, maybe it will show heart or something uh, or, you know, whatever you want to put there. Uh, that is just for you to learn the logic and then, you know, we can do more advanced stuff. So uh, we want to check if ID is something we want the micro bit to do something, right? So if Husky Lens will say ID one recognized, we will say, uh, we'll tell micro bit do something. So that's a conditional statement if then. So we, I'm going into logic and I'm getting uh, this, if something is true, then, uh, you know, uh, whatever we want to do. So what is it that we are want to check? So I'm going back into Husky Lens and I am going down here and I'm saying if ID one is on the frame, which means that if on my uh, Husky Lens frame, it will say ID one, then I want it to do something. And if it says ID two, something else or, or, or whatever, right? Uh, so in this frame, you have got two options, frame and arrow. So for almost all these algorithms here, we will use frame other than the one which says line tracking. If we use the line tracking algorithm, then we will say arrow. Okay. So right now we'll keep it simple. We are saying face recognition and we are simply saying, uh, uh, check if ID one is on the frame. And if ID one is on the frame, uh, then let's say I'm putting something very simple. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, so in my case, I know ID one is Atul in my case. So I'm saying a for Atul. Okay. And then I'm duplicating this command because I have trained Husky lens on two IDs. So depending upon how many IDs you have trained it on one, two, three, four, you will have to put those many conditional statements here. And I'm saying if ID two is on the frame, then in my case, it's my wife Vantata. So I'm saying V. So I've got A and V here. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's uh, our basic program. And then uh, I've got my uh, micro bit connected. Okay. So let me show you. So I've got my micro bit connected here. So it's connected to my, uh, it's connected to Husky Lens and to my PC. So all I'm doing now he here is I'm going to say uh, connect my micro bit. I'm just pairing the micro bit. So once it's paired, I'll just transfer the program. So it's paired. I'm saying download this. Uh, okay. So now uh, let me just switch the cameras. So we can test it again. So I've got uh, all these photographs. And now let's see, uh... <clears throat> so I'm, I'm just going to stop here. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to check why it didn't work, but that is the process. So while I'm checking, you can do this yourself and then we'll just, uh, I'll just be back.
Okay. Uh, so let's let's see uh, if it didn't work for some of you. What could the problem be? Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so I've got uh, I've I've set up set this up for the next one. But before I go to the next one, uh, sometimes what what I mean for me, for example, it didn't work because. For some reason, I there was a problem with my board, uh, so I changed it. Uh, so I'm saying the, the, the problem could be hardware problem. And even on this board, for some reason, uh, I can't power uh, my my uh, Husky lens from this board. So I'm I'm using the power from my USB, and I'm just using these cables for communication. So I'm just saying that. The, the problem can always be some hardware related issue that you should check. And the other thing you can check is if you go back on a uh, Husky lens, if you click and then go all the way to general settings, click again, then I'm saying you should check the protocol. Uh, so in case uh, when I, uh, when I'm on protocol and I'm again clicking, I, I have these options, right? So I'm saying normally auto detect works fine, uh, but in case you are having problems and your micro bit is not talking to your uh, uh, your uh, Husky lens, then you can change this, go on protocol, and then uh, come all the way and just select I2C. Okay, because we are using I2C here. So uh, if I've selected I2C, I mean, you can try. I, uh, I don't know what the problem is. It could be a hardware problem. It could be the wire problem. It Just check your connections again. Otherwise, try this protocol and uh, then save and return. Yes, uh, and you're back. Okay, so you can try this. So let's do, uh, let's do this way that let me show you another uh, program and uh, you try that. And then, uh, you know, if you still have problems, then when we come back, you can tell me what the problems are and I can see if I can uh, answer them. So, uh, the, so the next one I'm doing is I am using, in this one, I'm using uh, color recognition, okay? So I'm selecting color recognition and it's the same I, uh, on my iPad, I have got three colors here. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm going, I'm, I'm trying, I'm simulating you know, the red, green, and amber traffic lights. Uh, so that later on, uh, you know, we can even try to do some, like run, like run a motor or something, and 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 that will be like an autonomous vehicle. So it's the same same thing when I point, uh, uh, point it to the first color, uh, so that, you know, uh, so I'm going to forget it, so forget. So this is how you will see it. So when you see the uh can you see the mark the the plus mark yeah so you point it to the color and then just press this button and it's saying learning and then leave it and it says color id one click again take the plus to the next color okay and uh can you see the plus is on green now and i'm clicking again so it's it's learned color id two and then I'm taking it to the red color and I am putting the plus inside and I'm clicking again and it's saying uh, it's, it's like I only wanted to learn three colors. So I have got now red color, green color and uh, uh, you know, so that's the problem right now uh, because it's night for me and I've got other lights in the in the room both color one and color three are kind of looking similar, although this is able to say the difference, right? So this is supposed to be orange, uh, okay? But anyway, then I'm saying once I've done this, if I am going here, so imagine that you have trained uh, Husky lens and now it's seeing the color. So it, the right light is red, then it's recognizing it as color ID one. And you can see that it is confusing it with color ID three because, because you know, I have these, you know, kind of a strange setup. I've got all kinds of lights here, so it's there is confusion. But basically, it's 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 if I go uh, like this, it sorry uh, like this. Okay, so from here, it can clearly see that this is red, and it's saying color ID one. And if I change it uh, here, it's saying it's color ID three, which is orange. And then 
its color id 2 green that's how i had trained it right remember i had red green and orange so that is how the color ids are defined okay i'm going to show you the coding but i have i have it running here so uh i think the color id is might be whatever so i have now got my micro bit and i have programmed it to say if the color id is id 1 can you see color id is id 1 then on my micro bit it's saying r for red okay uh, and if i uh, change this to color id 3 I I I put it wrong here. It should not be a green. It should actually. Uh, sorry, I should just make it like that. Uh, so when it says here, uh, see, so 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 color, you can see it's color ID three now, and it's I programmed it wrong. It should not say green. It should say orange. But it's it's saying something on the micro bit. It's changing, and uh, I'm just trying to make it. If I change it to green, uh, then it's recognizing it as color ID two, and it's. I mean, so I have to change green and orange. I've written the wrong code, but basically the color that it it is uh, recognizing, it's changing the micro bit, right? So I'm just saying that it's the same program. There's no no difference here. Uh, it's just that the algorithm has changed. okay so i'm going to show you the program and uh, then you can try and hopefully this one will work for you uh so i'm i'm saying the program is pretty much what we wrote earlier so uh, i am saying on start uh, initialize husky lens uh on i2c okay uh so sometimes what you can do is uh, i put this heart thing here because let's say so this is a debugging technique in the code that you wanted to check whether your uh, husky lens is initializing like is it communicating properly or not then you can just embed something so that when you will start if your micro bit will show you a heart that means this has been successfully completed right if you don't see uh, this heart then you know that the micro bit is not even communicating with the husky lens which means there there is either a hardware problem or the wires are not connected or some other problem so i'm just saying that this is one way of saying that i can do this so what then i am saying change the algorithm to and now we are doing color recognition okay and then i'm again in the forever loop i'm just simply first saying husky lens request data and save into the result okay so i'm saying that let's assume you got an heart which means the husky lens is communicating with the micro bit okay uh, then i want to put another check has the data really been received or not okay so what i can do is i can go to husky lens and there is uh, you know all these commands i have like get the total number of learned ids so i can take this okay and i can get something like show number because this will be a number so this is just a check that before the program will go to the next step it will tell me how many id that has learned okay so if i have trained it on three colors right now i should uh, get a message here which says uh, three id like number 3 on the micro bit it will show me the number of ids okay and likewise i'm saying if you go here uh, then um, then uh, you can go and say uh husky lens uh there is some one command here which says that has it actually learned it or not so you can get that one also let me see where is it is it in more uh total number of frame husky lens get id get id total number of x center uh and in case you want to reset then you know uh you can always reset by using this command right so i can put i mean don't do it right now but i'm saying uh if you are doing something and you know something has got stuck then you can use this program for get all learning uh, data from the current algorithm run it and then it will clear the uh, husky lens okay so what i'm saying is that inside this uh, you've got other kinds of things so you can read all the commands 
and use one of them to step by step check your code. And then you will know that is it a problem with the I2C? Is it a problem that it's not learned the result? Uh, 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 so, so you will know that that's the way to debug the code, right? Uh, uh, how many IDs it has learned, you can figure that one out, okay? Um, and then I can do, you know, this kind of a, 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 you know, command, which is check if ID one is learned from the result. Okay. So what I'm saying is uh, I can say, show me the number of learned IDs. I'll have a sense whether my uh, Husky lens, you know, is correctly recognizing uh, my micro bit is correctly telling me that it has learned whatever number of IDs you have taught one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And then I'm saying I can put another check here by, by going into logic and I can add that only if it has learned ID one, should the next command be uh, uh, executed. Okay. So I'm, what I mean is that if I have learned three IDs in my case, uh, I want to check whether it has learned three IDs, then I can go here and get an and, okay. And get another and, uh, so th these are more, you know, debugging techniques, right? Uh, so I I'm saying if ID one is learned from the result, uh, I'm checking this whole thing. Uh, this is more a programming technique. Okay. If Husky lens, if ID one is learned from the result, duplicate it and checking if ID two is learned from the result, and then I'm duplicating it again. And I'm saying if ID three, because in my case, all three ID should be learned only if all three IDs have been learned, then I am, you know, writing my next command, which is now inside the loop inside the if loop, I'm saying if ID one, ID two and ID three have been learned, then if ID one is on the frame, uh, in my case, say red, and then I'm saying here, if ID two is on the frame. So remember, this is the, uh, it's a nested loop. There is a bigger loop here. And then the other loops are coming here. So my second one, this one is where the, uh, the problem is happening. The uh, number two is in my case now green. So I should say if ID two is learned, then green. And if ID three is on the frame, that is orange. Okay. Uh, so that's the program now. Okay. So I'm just running through the program again. Uh, I'm initializing I2C. I'm putting some debug command. You can put whatever you like. And if you get the heart on your micro bit, that means I2C communication is running fine. If you don't get a heart, then you check your hardware, check the connections, you know, is, are you connecting it correctly? Is your, uh, a blue wire connected to pin number 19 and green to pin number 20. And if that doesn't work, then go into that protocol and set the protocol as I2C rather than auto. So those are the things you can test uh, to make it work. And then I'm saying Husky lens request data and save into the result. Then I'm putting another show number here, which is just to make sure that I uh, it, it, it will tell me how many IDs it has actually learned in the algorithm, in my case three. And then I'm saying if ID one is is learned is if ID two is learned, if ID three, if all these three are uh, learned only then start working on my other thing, which is if it is red color, show R, if it is ID two, which means green, show G. And if it is uh, O, then show O. So I'm going to uh, uh, transfer this program to my, my micro bit. And I'm going to quickly switch here to see what happens. Uh, okay, so I, if you see, I saw I got the heart. Okay, I got number three. So my debugging has shown me that it's right. It showed me the heart. That means I2C communication is working. It's showing me three, which means it's Husky lens is saying that it has learned three IDs. Okay. And now I can test it. So I've got my red color here and I will point my uh, thing here. Okay. So now it is saying, uh, so see, so these, I mean, the problem I'm currently facing is because orange and red is very similar in the light. In my room, that's the light problem. Okay. So now I'm getting that th R, which is, uh, you know, showing me as red. If I go to orange, uh, it is saying it's color ID. So, so this, this is a problem of the light. Okay. Not, not, not any other problem. Uh, so it's not really recognizing orange because it's kind of looking the same in this light now green. 
So it's saying it's a color ID two and it's turned to green. Okay. So uh, hopefully try some of this and uh, it should work. Uh, if it doesn't work, then, uh, you know, when we come back, we can uh, check again.